10 dartists. The Belgian Dimitri van der Berg and the Welshman Johnny Clayton. Very popular with the packed house here, the ferry. And it's a very good evening to everyone's second favourite Welshman, Mark Webster. Well, the nicer welcomes from you, Rob. Looking forward to this one. Dimitri van den Berg playing on a stage where he generally performs a great record at the World Match Play against an opponent who's got a pretty poor record. Only his second appearance in the last 16. Not being the happiest of hunting grounds for Johnny Clayton, but both of them, the 10 8 victories winning round one. Dimitri, the better. Johnny scrapped his way there. Johnny will surely play better. We'll have to tonight to have a chance of getting to the quarterfinals. Don't worry, Mark, if Gavin Price is still in the tournament, you've been down to number three, you've been promoted. I'll still take that. And Ferret trying to get off to a flyer here. Because the last match, as you alluded to, Mark, was a real grind, wasn't it? It was gruelling stuff. And just a one-breaker throw proved sufficient for Johnny Clayton, didn't it? Yeah, he was kind of just gifted a sort of four-leg lead. And Clemens just couldn't fight back. He got better. Too many missed opportunities, and Johnny kept him at arm's length and, and found a classy 11 down leg to win it. And it's more than them here tonight. Now, being a favourite has counted for very little in the opening stages of this world match play. But for the record, Clayton being made favourite by the Bakers tonight against Vandenberg, despite what we've said about the first round matches. And despite the World Championship meeting that Emma alluded to before the match, which Van der Berg won five sets to three, although Clayton did miss darts and double to level up at four sets of pieces, I recall. Yeah, it was a quarter-final where Johnny led. 1-0, 2-1, 3-2. And then Dimitri hit the gas late on and booked his place in the semi-finals. That had a, a big clash as well at the Grand Prix last year with Dimitri Van den Berg. Ended Johnny's title range. Title reign in the second round. We had a few meters in the Premier League as well. Johnny's won the last two. Vandenberg in the better form at the minute, you'd have to say. And makes a break start. Kunkel hold of throw for the Belgian number one. 14 dart opening salvo from the Dream Maker. Nice start. Nice finish. animated in that game with Ross Smith, didn't he? They were giving it both back and forth. It was a, a, a real good tie. Vandenberg found a big leg in the, the 18th leg to break and clinch his place in round two. Vandenberg with this excellent world match play record, his fourth appearance. He won in 2020, that was behind closed doors in Milton Keynes. Back at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool the following year, he lost to Wright in the final, lost to Van Gogh in the semi-final last year. So he's won 12 and lost two matches in the match play. In the Winter Gardens, he's won seven and lost two. Whereas Johnny Clay can barely buy a win. The tournament average in, in the match play in all of his appearances is just above 99. That's the standard he meets in this event. It really suits Vandenberg. Lost in the semi-finals last year to Michael Van Gogh. He led for the majority of that match and was just pipped at the end. Yeah, Clayton's won two and lost five of his match play appearances. The only win he'd had before he beat Clemens was against Dirk van Dijvenberg in 21 before losing to his Welsh World Cup teammate Gavin Price. Now looking at double nine. Well, this could be a significant visit to the board, even this early on in the piece, Mark, couldn't it? Well, it could be. Vandenberg may double 19, might come to play. He's looking at triple 16 here. Not even willing to move along. Can't find it. So, Johnny, just got to be careful here. Double nine can always yeah, split in, I think. Double eight for hold himself. Yeah, brilliant. And the entire from Johnny Clayton. And a couple of holes to start off this last 16 time. Vandenberg in 14 darts, Clayton in 17. Vandenberg had an outside opportunity there. He had a look at the 118 finish, but couldn't get to the double. Couldn't find the early treble in the combination. So squared off at one apiece. Johnny Clayton 
sequencing the first maxi of the match in the third leg. Early signs good for Johnny Clayton. He said had to start better. I know he got out four lane front against Clemens. It's just a level of play. He's seven three up, averaging less than 80. But it was enough to book his place in round two. Johnny's experienced enough to know as well. It's just about winning. Those performances happen. But he'll recognise how much of a threat Dimitri Vandenberg is, particularly on the world match play stage. Well, now then, Vandenberg had half a chance for the break of the Clayton throw. The roles reversed, and Clayton now with more than half a chance. A real opportunity here, crafted early on by the ferret to get his teeth into the match early doors. Yeah, Dimitri Vandenberg gave himself a telling off as well when he drifted into a single one. Oh. It's good yeah. early, but the first break of throw. Opportunity incoming. Two at double 16 if he needs to. Yeah. Only needs one. Clayton finds the first break and let them down the leg. Yeah. Well, that is the kind of leg that you really want to produce on your opponent's throw a sub four visit leg from johnny clayton absolutely ideal it's what clemens couldn't do against johnny to recoup those breaks of throw that he dropped early doors breaks will be exchanged in this match vandenberg let the match carry he makes it look so easy when he's on point dimitri vandenberg great flow in the action Well, Clayton's had two turns to the board here, and Van der Berg won, and Van der Berg still in front, so that'll tell you that the darts now very much in his favour. He's effectively taken the darts in this fourth leg. Not literally, that wouldn't be allowed under the rules. We're still in the rules, still be playing. Van der Berg. Warner panic with the early break. He went down a break against Ross Smith in the first mini session, then the second one, and still managed to turn it around. Just get on with it. Need something flash here, the ferret. Not enough to leave the biggest finish of all, but Vandenberg will probably feel he has two visits to the board from 135. 85 left. 70 left. Went onto the triple 18, but nevertheless, it leaves the two dark combination unless the ferret can produce a big fish. Oh, he's gone fishing! And he's drowned it in! Magical dance from Johnny Clayton with Vandenberg on the brink of breaking back. Clayton had other ideas, but the 178 shot was the best of them. Brilliant from Johnny Clayton, the reaction was fantastic as well. Vandenberg had played a good leg. He's just got to carry on with what he's doing. The look of that from Clayton. He's pretty on point with the bull on one to one combinations. We always say how he's one of the best in the business. But the bullseye's come into play there at a key time. And it's three successive legs from Johnny now. certain to be two legs all suddenly in the twinkling of the eye and the delivery of one dart became 3-1 to Johnny Clay some trouble visit here could go looking for a double break two big trouble visit good last start from Clayton this leg's in the balance key passage of play coming up for Dimitri Vandenberg here Similar from the last leg, he's left the two darts with Clayton on a long range finish. He couldn't, could he? Oh, he couldn't, could he? Well, he couldn't in the end, but Dimitri Vandenberg must have been breathing very heavily as Clayton hit one treble, then two trebles, and whistled one just wide of the double 12. Some effort 
was well thrown just alongside the wire. Dimitri van den Berg has just taken his time. He'll do things at his own pace, Dimitri. He knows this is a big moment in the match. May only get one down a double. Double 16. And he can't find it. And now Johnny Clayton. A dart away. Couldn't find it at the back end of the 1 4 1. Same target. Double 3. Oh, my word. Well, we saw the best of finishing in the previous game with the 170. We've just seen the worst of it, really, there from Johnny Clayton. Hit the wrong double. And then hit 3, looking for double 3. Could be a key moment, this. Vandenberg. Oh, really good there. Dimitri Vandenberg by three legs to two. I'll hand you back to Martin Rost. Thanks, Emily. Yeah, all happening in that first mini session, wasn't it? 170 out from Clayton. Hit the wrong double in the next leg as well. A couple of matchmen have made that three as Clayton hits his second of the match. And a close game, but the ferret has the early edge with a break of throw and a 3 2 lead, Mark Webster. Yeah, he's done well to come out with a the maximum score there, because that last leg might have played on his mind a little bit in the break. A chance for a double break, but Vandenberg did well. In fairness, Vandenberg was down to the double first. And it's still Ooh. in the balance, just the one break, and it's a race to 11, remember. Vandenberg, like we said, has had so much success on this stage. With that, like that. Brilliant for the Belgian. Two matches apiece now, very early on in the match. Only the sixth leg. We've already seen David Hatter do a darting demolition job on Brendan Dolan. 11 1 railroading by the Australian. This is our second match. We've got Peter Wright and Ryan Searle to come, and then the new tournament favourite Luke Humphreys goes up against Dirk van Dijvenbode in the concluding contest. Oh, Luke Humphreys and Dirk could steal the show tonight. An interesting match. Dirk, Dirk's got to apply pressure. In. Luke's got to deal with being the tournament favourite. It's a great way to end. Day five at the World Match Play. Went hunting the ball to leave double eight, but that's wayward and it makes things a little bit more complicated. 34 scored, 32 left. That leaves nothing, that leaves Clayton 4-2 in front. Well, you tease Johnny Clayton about his counting mark, don't you? But he, he sorted out the problems there quite well off the first errant dart, which could have confused him. He did really well, didn't he? Took a little step back, and see when you get thrown a bit out of sync, and Johnny's not the best counter, so he did the right thing, just stepping back, checking, and it's a good finish. And it restores the two-leg buffer. It's so much better than in round one, Johnny Clayton. Well, he has indeed. He's averaging 15 points higher in this match, Johnny Clayton. He's only got to this round once before. He lost again in practice. He lost 11-3 in that match. He's never really... With a foothold in the tie. Well, he's left himself a bogey there, Vandenberg. Oh. If Johnny had done that, Mike, you'd been all over him like a rash, wouldn't you? I would have to be fair. You would, yeah. I've heard you in action. <laughs> yes. Not something you associate with Dimitri Vandenberg, and we mentioned earlier Johnny Clayton when he hit the 170 on the ball, obviously. Then the 1 2 1 combination, it's kind of his forte. Yeah. Not this time. But nevertheless, that's the next best thing to leave a single dart here. Now Vandenberg, 
Remember, this is to hold throw here. Treble 20 for tops. Oh, yes. Double top. Oh, great finish. Great finish by Lucy van der Berg. And it's one he really needed, too, because had he failed there, it was odds on to go further adrift. He would have been well, almost certainly 5 2 behind, wouldn't he, Mark? Yeah, it was a brilliant finish from van der Berg. A double that he's not a big fan of either. He's had all sorts of bother on it during the Premier League. Openly admitted he doesn't like double tops. That was a brilliant finish. There we see. Right in the corner and a big celebration. He knows that was an important leg. And Clayton, who had chances to get a double break in the first session, would have thought he was getting more there. But a little bit of quality from Dimitri Vandenberg keeps it. Just a one leg gap. Yeah, he loathed double tops for quite a period, but he's warm to it now. It really has been a case of how he learned to stop worrying and love double top because he's almost fond of it now. On, on one of the streaming boards on, in the Pro Tours you play away from the, the big TV stages, I remember when Bruce Bell of splitting tops rod going eight for double 16 and he was just, just wasn't cooked on it at all. And just goes show what a big finish that was for Vandenberg. When you start splitting a like double top, that really is lunacy. It, it, it's just mathematical maintenance. And you have to get over it. It, it becomes a phobia, doesn't it, really? It's, it's not it's a, a dislike, it becomes a phobia. You've got to get through that, which Ooh. he has. Certain doubles have got to be part of your game. Clearly, Vandenberg has rectified it. Ooh. Vandenberg now four out of four on tops for the tournament, so it's becoming a full-blown love affair. Can't finish here now after that. Now Vandenberg has got to be tops again. Well, theoretically, he could go 18, double 18. Now it's tops. He loves tops. First one he's missed the tops in the tournament. But he uses the dive, and that just goes to show how important that one, two, five was. Because it gets the match level now. Because had he gone five two down, he'd have been under it there, Vandenberg. But a brilliant passage of play. And back on throw. Dimitri turned 29 over this month. Double top probably sent him a birthday card. Ooh. Double top hit in consecutive legs by Vandenberg, and he's level at the match, as Mark mentioned, at four apiece. Oh, see how a couple of legs changes a man. Been resilient, Dimitri. Could have gone a couple of breaks down in the first Ooh. session. Could have gone a couple of breaks down in this session, but he hung on in there with some clutch finishing. And with his third maximum of the match, has got advantage here in the ninth leg. Wins this leg, guarantees he cannot trail at the next interval. Well, this is for the lead. Looking for 57 and two double tops. He's become obsessed with double top man. And he's comfortable on it now, isn't he? It's a Big part of his game that he's worked on clearly. He's only just taking a step back. He'll just stay up there. Yeah, good last start. Done that well, Johnny, when he's had a little pause. He's, we saw him on a combination on 66 earlier, which is coincidentally left. Now, is it to be two dots at double 10 or one at double top? Double top. And again, important with Clayton waiting. And this time he misses. Johnny went for the ball on this one earlier on and hit 17 and he tied it up really well. He's gone the same route. Double 16 and Johnny leads again. Big finish. And Dimitri Vandenberg had one at tops for 5-4. It's now Johnny throwing for a two-leg lead at the second break.
was such a one-sided first tie, these two. Really giving it to each other here. Brilliant from Vandenberg. Every time there's a setback, he just seems focused and just goes on home to rectify it. Tight tungsten tussle this, tense too. Elite level Aerosmiths, Clayton World number seven, and the Bird World number ten. Brilliant from Johnny. Set up for that one to one of the night guards. Two seven to level up again. Treble 19 is needed. Found it for the bullseye. Oh, and close to leveling it up at five each. But that means six four to Johnny Clayton. And he edges ahead again. Johnny Clayton has won both the mini sessions by three lengths to two. And that adds up to a total tally of Johnny Clayton six, Dimitri Vandenberg four. This is a great battle between these two top ten artists, and there's more to come in a couple of minutes. More legs, so not over by any manner of means, but Johnny Clayton in the box seat, Dimitri Vandenberg with the darts. And he needs a break mark, but that doesn't mean he forgets all about holding, because he needs to hold it just to get back to within one. Then he can attack the Johnny Clayton throw. Yeah, and he's... He led at 1-0, but since then he's been chasing Dimitri Vandenberg. He's done it pretty well. He had a dart to lead 5-4, he had a dart in the last legs. He's there or thereabouts, won't be panicking. But he'll obviously, like I said, the good point you made. In the meantime, he's got to hold on to his throw. And stand by. You go a couple of breaks down at this level of play, you leave yourself a lot to do. And we've crossed the halfway mark here. And Vandenberg's just got to keep in touch. A much improved performance from Clayton from round one. And at this level, any of these players are capable of rattling off three legs and 30-odd darts, but they can't just do that on demand, no matter how good they are. First and foremost here, Vandenberg needs a leg of 15 darts or fewer on his own throw. He'll feel that's probably enough to get this leg on the ball, but we have seen Clayton break in 11. That was the third leg of the match. That last dart into the waters give Dimitri time, but poor first one. To come down and he won't be satisfied with that poor sets up from Vandenberg it's a shot but there'll be surely be a layup here from Clayton well this is a decent chance for a top level pro they fancy getting one dart to treble 20 out of the first two throws but it hasn't happened here and that means Johnny Clayton now will be licking his lips, can barely get to the hockey quick enough. May only be one tops, but his dad's generally land, land flat and don't block the path. But that one has seemed to have been clear, he didn't. And there is the double break. He's been threatening it throughout the match, to be fair. But some coach finishing from Van der Berg has kept it at just one break. But he now has a serious cushion, Johnny Clayton. 7 4. Four legs away from the quarterfinals of the world match play for the first time. 4-4 to 7-4. Johnny Clayton reels off three straight legs of darts. Two of them on the Vandenberg throw. A real burst from Clayton that's likely to burst the Belgian's balloon. Three clear. Great position to be in, Mark. But, but Johnny Clayton... He's no fool. He knows that there's still work to be done. Like you said, Vandenberg. Many of these players left in the field. 
and more than capable of rattling off three successful successive legs in double quick time. And what Clayton's got to do here, he's got that double break, consolidate it, get yourself a serious cushion, and get yourself a bit of a, bit of a free hit, don't you, Rob, when you've got a double break up the opponent's throw. Uh, in this case, it doesn't matter. Vandenberg. Don't give him excuses, man. Well, I'm going to let him off. I'm a bit hard on him. But he's in a great position anyway, isn't he? And he's even better now with the set up there. This could be a 14 dart leg for the ferret. And that will make it 8 4. But here, like this, a few times in the match. Bulls normally is route and he's got it this occasion. Double eight. And there is the ball at Bubba. He's edging closer to the quarterfinals here, Johnny Clayton. He's won the last four legs. And he's in a great position. Dimitri Vandenberg. And he's got to get some breaks to throw. But first and foremost, he's got to hold on to his darts here. very much the year of the ferret wasn't it when he won the world grand prix the premier league the masters and the world series of darts finals and in the chinese new year the animals are on a 12-year cycle in darts the ferret will be hoping the year of the ferret comes back in two year cycles 2023 because he's already been part of the world cup winning team for wales and if he adds the world match play to the cv well that will be a tiny summer's work would not it it's been a year tiny, or two years you say He's had a Euro Tour and a Pro Tour win as well. And it's come at a good time for Johnny. Oh, it's a great time for him. He's got some prize money to defend. That Grand Prix win you mentioned comes around again in October. Well, Clayton's won the last four legs and Vandenberg has got to produce a rock stopper here. Otherwise, this could be over in a hurry. He needs this, Vandenberg. Don't count him out. He's running out of time. And a brilliant second down from Dimitri. Largely misses the double wall team. Double 12. would have been five on the trot and there are no circumstances in which Dimitri Vandenberg can afford to miss this in my opinion seems a good guy the panic is when you go inside edging closer massive moment for Vandenberg brilliant he's still held himself to get the wheel there doesn't really give it much he knows there's still work to be done but that's the first part holding on to his throw and stopping the rot of four successive legs for Clayton Clayton has broken the Vandenberg throw three times. There has been one break back in reply. So Vandenberg is two breaks down. He's got to find two breaks before Clayton holds three times. That's assuming Clayton doesn't break him. So he needs two breaks very quickly here, Vandenberg. Johnny's still three away though, isn't he? So he's still got a bit to do. And he dropped his throw once against Gabriel Clemens in round one. That was at the latter part of the match, and he regrouped well. With an 11 dart to clinch victory. But Dimitri will keep applying pressure. He'll keep knocking on the door. See? Sure he re gripped that properly, Dimitri. The second out, a good third out, though. Worth the regular remember, uh, reminder, Mark. I feel that the match must be won by two clear legs. So it's not a question of just getting to 11, it's getting to 11 by two clear legs or more. Yeah, we've 
go as far as 13 apiece. We have a sudden death lag. Almost. We've got there last night with Cullen and get a bit price. Brilliant finishing from Joe Cullen means he's in the quarterfinals. He's Daryl Gurney. And the race double 18 for Clayton for the 156. And it is a 156. He's at a 170 for that 156. And a smile from Dimitri Vandenberg. He knows he's got plenty to do, but he's almost there, Clayton, two legs away. quite the knockout blow but it's certainly a blow that has sent Vandenberg staggering across the ring into the ropes because any hopes he had of levelling up quite quickly from 8-5 down for a break of holding a break have disappeared with that Rantusler of a finish from Johnny Clayton well a 170 to 156 it's been spectacular stuff and he missed a double 12 for a 141 didn't he Mark as well so yeah, and a double 12 for a 101 but Clayton looking to inflict the first last 16 victory on Dimitri Vandenberg. He's never not been in the semi-finals since he's played in the World Match Play. Winner, finalist, semi-finalist. It's a big test for Dimitri Vandenberg, but he's got himself down pretty well in this leg. Neat to leave tops. Ooh. Exquisite from Johnny Clayton. Tops it is for six nine. Just stayed focused, even though it was a key moment, and he did it there as well. Hanging on in there, Vandenberg, but needs breaks a throw desperately. I thought for a moment there there was going to be an acrimonious breakup with double top after the first two darts, but he rekindled the romance with the last start, and it's now 9-6. But let's have it right. Clayton is very close to the winning line here, and Vandenberg's three adrift. He's got to find two breaks still. Not easy with the opponents throwing those. He's defending his throw brilliantly here, Johnny. Vanderbilt needs help from Clayton now because, I mean, he could produce some fireworks himself, some 11s, 12s, 11s and 13s and so on and so forth, but really he needs Clayton to start missing and falling off his form. There's no sign of it, is there, Rod? He's no, averaging at all. around about 104. He been pretty much not far of 100, 203 for the majority of the match. The finishing stats, 60%. It takes a beating, and Vandenberg has a great record on this stage. But he's going to have to really dig in deep here. It's a decent switch. It may be something like a big moment, like this 167 might have to go if he gets a shot. If he gets a shot. He doesn't get a shot because Johnny Clayton is finishing. He did this to get him in Price in the final of the World Grand Prix. Battered him in submission with some huge finishing. Price even locked on into the crowd, smiling in disbelief. He's made very little errors, Johnny Clayton and Vandenberg. He's in a position where he needs four consecutive legs. Desperate dance required from Dimitri. Johnny Clayton has bossed this match since four all. At that point, he ran off four straight legs to go eight four, and since then, the margin has stayed pretty similar. It's still four legs, but there's less time for a fight back now. And at 10 6, Dimitri Vandenberg has been pushed to the point of no return, the former match play champion. Has to win four consecutive legs, as Mark just said. And that will send us into tie breaks. Johnny Ooh. mentioned having a free hit. This is one here. He's got another one as well if he needs it. 
means she's got to think about this. Thank you. 